everyone, it's Bonnie here, and today I'd like to share with you a design team creation for um, Archana. And she has two shops. She has an online shop, or I'm sorry, YouTube shop called Secret Garden. And she also has an online shop, and it is called Crafty City. And here's her card. Okay, it's not focusing. Okay, so there you go, craftycity.com. And um, let me go ahead and share with you um, the beautiful flowers that I used for my creation. First, I used these right here. So, so pretty. And I love the size of these. So pretty, I love them. And then I use these, like a cream color. And I used this here. I love, love, love these here. So beautiful. And these right here, this is another one of my favorites. So let me just undo this. Um, these here, they're like some kind of a foam material, but see how you can totally manipulate them? You can open them wide up if you want to. You can cut off some of them. You can, you know, bend in the petals or bend them inward or, you know, whatever you like there. Um very easy to mani manipulate them into different shapes you know to suit your project so I used those and then I use these here they so beautiful and I use these little darlings here So cute. And these here. I just love those. They're so cute. And this one, this is the only one that I have left. And I lost the stem. <laughs> but I used some of these too. Okay. So there are the flowers that I used. And the paper that I used was this Prima um prima let's see what it's called cigar box secrets and i've had this in my stash for a while and i haven't cut into it i you know how i am i just you know it takes me a while i like to savor it I'm, but i'm sure you've all seen it it's very vintage inspired and the graphics on it are just absolutely so beautiful i mean look at how gorgeous these are Oops, so pretty. So I finally cut into them. I was very excited. Um, see how there's all different different images, different colors, just very vintage inspired. Um, I love it. Love it, love it. I enjoyed working with it. And these flowers just match beautifully. So what I did was, this This is my um, project here. In this box is actually, I got it from TJ Maxx and it had soaps in it. Um, you know, like really pretty smelling kind of, you know, um... That. I, think, I think it was like rose scented and they were like the bigger ones and there was four so I had this this box and I'm like oh I can I can you know do something with that so I saved it and again finally busted it out and altered it so um I first painted the box of course with gesso because it was like a bright red and um it just I wanted the white to show and then I covered it with the beautiful paper I whitewashed it with some gesso 
to give it even a, a more of a vintage look. And then I, I had this in my stash. This is one of those Michaels frames. And first I, it was black. So I gessoed some of it and, you know, left some black in there. And then I went over it with some gold rub and buff. So it looks like old and, you know, just really old and tattered. And then this is just fussy cut out of the paper collection. And then over here I just have metal pieces that I had in my stash. There's this one here. There's like three different um, metal pieces. And then this piece in the center. And I used um, E6000 to glue these all together and then adhere them onto uh, the frame. And then I just have these cute little um, charms that I dangled down from it. And I also ran, you know, some gesso over all of those. And then over here is my beautiful flower collection. And here's that one that you can manipulate. And I took black soot distress and ran it all over the tips of the leaves to give it a, you know, a, a vintage distressed look and then went over it with some gesso to distress it even more. And with the red, I didn't put the, the white gesso. It just doesn't look good with white on it. So I just left those black. And then I'm sorry, I forgot to share with you. Um, I also got this beautiful green seam binding in my um, design team package. So I made a double bow and Put it behind this beautiful flower here okay and here is the red one here that I shared with you and then this one they're so beautiful I love this blue one here another cream so so pretty they just look so pretty together and here's those little rosebuds that <laughs> I used every one of them, but that one little remaining one. Back here, I just put a metal piece. And here is some um, pearls that are on like, um, you know, like wire. I believe I got that those from Michaels. So I just put those, you know, here and there. So that is my flower collection with all the flowers that I got from Archana shop. So beautiful, I love them. So that's what the front of the box looks like. And then here I dangled this um, heart charm. Isn't it so pretty? And I, look at how gorgeous that is. I just absolutely love this paper, so vintage. So of course I covered all of the sides with um, you know, different papers in the collection. Isn't that so beautiful? And see how distressed it already is. I, I didn't do that. That, that comes like that. <clears throat> and then this side here. And then I put this on the back. And that one on the bottom. Okay, so then when you open it up, it looks like that. Isn't it awesome? So I have all my vintage spools with the, you know, the darker colors on it. Like there's burgundy and there's like a cobalt blue and brown. I have gray and it's like a rust color and there's green. So I thought that was perfect for like my vintage um, uh, darker colored, <clears throat> excuse me, um, spools. So let me take them out so we can look at um, the paper inside. So I use this, this one on the insides of it, all the way around it, and then that one on the bottom. Isn't that so pretty? And, um, this one here on the top, I'm trying to, I 
doesn't fit. <laughs> I'll have to show you like this. So I put that page there, and then I put this black one here on, you know, the binding of it. And I also put it on the bottom because this came off. Actually, I pulled it off because it was different paper. So I pulled it off, put this black paper underneath this one on the spine and then just glued this right back on after I um you know covered it with paper so um although it's like very busy it flows beautifully it flows really really beautifully and I thought oh my gosh it's so perfect for these to store my beautiful vintage spools in so pretty to look at oops I just popped right out Okay, the, this makes the, the box wicked heavy, but that's okay. So then you close it, and again, that's what the front looks like. Very beautiful. See how the flowers match this beautifully? Such a pretty um, flower cluster. I love, I love it. I love how it came out. So that is my design team project for Archana Shop, and she is CraftyCity.com. I'll leave the link below, and also Secret Garden on Facebook, and I'll also leave the, the link to that as well. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye-bye.